Good morning YouTube. What's going on? Zalan to China. Today we are in a very small village where my grandma is living and this morning very early we will go to the local bakery and the sad thing is that there is only one bakery left in this village and I will show this to you now. Morgen, äh, von den AOK Blöckchen hätte ich gerne ähm, drei Stück, das sind die AOK, genau. Drei, ja. Ja, dann äh, Nussplunder hätte ich gerne einen. Das ist ein Mutterplunder, ein Nussplunder ah. wäre dieser. Aha, okay. Der ist mit Nussfüllung und das ist Nougat. Ja, dann nehme ich einen mit Nougat und einen mit Nuss. Oder so, oder? Jawohl, <lacht> dann sind wir sicher. Haben Sie noch einen ähm, hm, Mal gucken. Äh, was haben wir noch so salziges? Ist das hier oben, gell? Das, ist eine... das ist alles deftig hier mm -hmm. oben, die obere Reihe, ja. Mm -hmm. Haben wir Pizza, Pizzastand, Knusperstand, ja. Laugenbeck, das mit Frischkäse gefüllt. Hier haben wir eine Currywurst-Tasche, hier hinten. Ah, ja. Oder Spinat-Feta-Zopf, Mexiko-Tasche. Mhm. Ich glaube, ich würde mal so ähm, eine Pizzastange probieren. Ja. Und das ist alles da. What's actually so special about this bakery is that uh, bakeries like this don't exist anymore in Germany or there's less and less of those bakeries and um, <clears throat> why why is it so special first have you seen the old door I I was showing this to you this kind of door when you see shops with these doors it means they are very very old maybe 100 years old and also <clears throat> um, this kind of bakeries are usually family run businesses which means that for example the father or the grandfather or the son whoever is waking up at night at two o'clock in the morning and they start to start to bake things you know and the grandma or the mother or the daughter they are selling this stuff in the morning or in in the afternoon and then they close their shop they go to bed early and then they start all over again this is how it was in germany for the last i don't know 100 200 years <coughs> but nowadays all those all the things that also I just bought, they are prepared and frozen. And when they need them, <clears throat> they are put into a small oven and they are ready to eat and to sell. So the thing is, this mass production um, bakery goods are not prepared by real bakers anymore in the morning but they are prepared by machines and then put into a big freezer and then frozen. And then uh, the modern new bakeries that look much more fancy, look, there's a horse. The new modern bakeries that look much more fancy than this small old one, they have much more variety. They look much, much better. Uh, they are more expensive, but the quality of the things they sell is much, much, much worse because it's not self-made and there is usually lots of additives and artificial stuff added to the bakery goods to make the things look nicer, to make the bread go grow bigger, 
to make the bread grow faster and so that all the process of producing the big goods uh, reduces time, money and effort. So this is why I always prefer going to the small local ba uh, bakery shops because they are much much better in quality but also I have to tell you that those small bakery shops hardly hardly exist anymore because they are not wanted anymore you know people want big and beautiful breads or the price doesn't matter the coffee or the bakery has to be very big uh, <laughs> a coffee shop coffee place at the same time so this is really a pity and uh, yeah I just wanted to show you that because today we are at my grandma's place uh, in a German village a really small village and there you could see a real German village bakery hope you enjoyed this video see you tomorrow